Ms. Joan Pereira, you have two cards. Can you take both together? Sir, in this age of the internet, Singaporeans are increasingly well connected. Many of us are able to access information 24-7, make transactions anytime and communicate with others through our mobile phones and social media platforms. While Singapore's strong digital connectivity offers enormous social and business opportunities, it is also a point of vulnerability that individual hackers, criminal syndicates and state adversaries exploit to do us harm. As Singapore moves towards becoming a smart city, we need to be better prepared against threats from the digital domain. What measures do MINDEF have in place to rapidly detect and contain digital threats against Singapore? Recent incidents of data breaches had highlighted the human factor as a major vulnerability. In fact, users of the internet have long been viewed as the weak link. No matter how robust our internet structure, software and hardware, complacency, poor personal hygiene and low awareness of digital threats will endanger our SAF systems. What steps do MINDEF have to strengthen this area and how will the Ministry ensure that internal and external audits of our digital networks are robust? MINDEF has recently launched digital defence as a new pillar of total defence this year. How are we getting Singaporeans to be more aware and better prepared to respond to digital threats? Second cut. Over the past year, we have seen how the spread of fake news online have divided societies, influenced elections and triggered ethnic riots overseas. Singapore is not insulated from these events. In fact, as a multicultural and diverse society, Singapore's social fabric could easily be threatened by the spread of falsehoods that exploit potential fault lines in our society, such as race or religion. One of the biggest challenges we face in combating fake news is on social media and messaging applications such as Facebook and WhatsApp. Does the Ministry have any measures to counter misinformation online, such as an IT team, to look into messages circulating online and intervening on the same platforms with clarifications? More importantly, we have to show up our social defences, strengthening them on all fronts to counter these online threats. From our neighbourhoods, workplaces, markets and other common spaces, we will see and experience the real nature of our interactions and unity, making us less easy as targets. Does the Ministry have regular outreach sessions and public education initiatives to enhance our awareness of social defence? How can our social defence be further strengthened to deal with these online threats? <laughs>